Hello my friends and welcome to the channel for another Escape from Tarkov video. In this one, I want to take a look at some of my favorite weapon builds that cost 100,000 rubles or less to build. You can spend a lot of money building a gun in Tarkov, but there's also a lot of viable setups that don't cost a ton of rubles once you know what to look for. These kind of setups are perfect for farming runs where your main objective is just to make money without investing too much into your loadout or to cut down the costs on runs where you're just looking to take out scavs for quests and kind of avoid PvP. In this video, I have five builds to show you, mostly using level two, but some level three traders, plus the flea market. If people like this one, I'll go back to the drawing board for some more budget builds in a future video. If you have any suggestions for budget builds I should cover, I've got a link to my Twitch channel in the description, so you can drop in and we can chat about your favorite budget setups. The first build I want to cover in this video is a personal favorite of mine, the MP9 and MP9N. These little SMGs are honestly some of my favorite guns in Tarkov. They pack a lot of firepower into a very small package, they're cheap, they fire fast, they have low recoil, and they're truly awesome for fighting in really close quarters. I often take the MP9 as a secondary as well when I'm running bolt action rifles because it really doesn't even cost much more than a pistol and it offers you a lot more firepower. You can pick up either the MP9 or MP9N on the flea market for about 20 to 30,000 rubles most of the time. For my money, the MP9N is better because of the higher fire rate, but the regular MP9 also has a very stable recoil pattern to make up for the lower fire rate. With a base price of 20 to 30,000 and a total parts cost of about 65,000 rubles, this build runs you about 85 to 95,000 rubles for a build with a suppressor, a sight, and a flashlight, which I think is pretty good. First, you add the MP9 suppressor adapter and the MP9 suppressor, which costs about 30,000 total from Mechanic. After this, you can add an X400 or a Balder Pro flashlight onto the bottom rail or the side rail if you prefer. All that's really left is a sight. I personally like the Delta Point Reflex sight for little SMGs like this, but you can use any red dot that you prefer. For a regular MP9 build, you also need to add a foregrip, and for my money, I would just go for the RK foregrip from Skier. It might not look like much, but the MP9N shreds in close quarters, even with the basic PST ammo. If you can get your hands on some AP 6.3, it works even better, destroying most armor very quickly with that high fire rate. Next up in this video, we'll take a look at some 545 AK builds, starting with the AK-74M. This is one of the most common weapons to find in weapon crates, and because of this, it's generally on the flea market for 30,000 rubles or even less, often dropping as low as 20,000 rubles. Ammo for the 545 rifles is very easy to find in raid, dropping in 30 and 120 round boxes on basically every map. So you can stack up a lot of PS, PP, BP, and BT ammo just by checking the ammo spawns. As a full-size, relatively modern AK, it has decent base stats and it has access to a lot of affordable upgrades. With a base price of around 30,000 rubles and a total parts cost of 56,000, the build is only about 75 to 85,000 rubles total when it's all put together. First, I add on the Zenit DTK-1 Compensator, and then I swap out the default handguard for the CAA RS-47 handguard, which gets you a decent recoil reduction. Next, I add on the Zenit RK-4 Grip and a Balder Pro Flashlight. These are some of the most cost-effective upgrades in the game, and they work well on any budget build. To get a sight on here, I add the Bastion Dust Cover, which also reduces recoil slightly. And then for a cheap optic, I use the Cobra Reflex Sight with the Sight Shade. After this, the last upgrade that I recommend is the GP25 recoil pad. This is unlocked after doing Gunsmith Part 6, and if you have it, I would always add it onto your AK builds. For another very cheap rifle setup, I recommend the AKS-74U. You need to use this for the Punisher quest to take out 25 scavs, but it's also just a really nice weapon for close to medium range fights in general. It's lightweight, so you can pick up extra loot and level up your endurance, it's cheap, and people don't often pick it up, so you get it back in insurance quite often. You can buy the AKS-74U for 24,000 rubles from proper, and then with a total parts cost of 54,000 rubles, it's only about 80,000 total for this setup. You can also get a cheap suppressor on the market, so for almost exactly 100,000 rubles, you can make this a suppressed build as well. First up, I add the DTK-1 Compensator onto this setup, if you want to run the suppressor, go on the flea market and search for the PBS-4 suppressor, which is usually under 30,000 rubles, 
and also works on the AK-74M build I just covered as well. Next I add the Zenit B11 handguard and then I put the Zenit RK4 grip and a Balder Pro flashlight onto the handguard rails. For an optic, first I add the Pilgrim dust cover onto the AK-74U and then I put on the Cobra reflex sight and a sight shade for a nice cheap red dot sight. Finally, just like the AK-74M, I add on the GP25 recoil pad to finish it off. While the AKS-74U did have a bad reputation in previous wipes, I really enjoy it now, and for a cheap weapon to use while doing quests, you can definitely make worse choices. For another relatively cheap suppressed SMG build for running quests or doing fat loot runs on maps like Reserve and Interchange, I highly recommend the SR2M. This little SMG packs quite a punch and is one of my favorite setups to use on loot runs. It's light, it works perfectly for fighting in buildings where you're looting, and the ammo is good enough for PvP fights if you run into them. You can pick up the SR2M for about 45 to 50,000 rubles on the flea market or from proper level 3. And after completing the bunker part 1, you can get 9x21 PS ammo from proper level 2 and the new 7U4 ammo from proper level 3. With a base price of around 50,000 and a total parts cost of around 45,000, the build only totals about 95,000 rubles to set up with a suppressor, a light, and a red dot sight. First up, you want to add the SR2M suppressor, which is sold by Proper Level 3 for about 25,000. Next, you can add a Balder Pro flashlight onto the side rail, which should already be installed on the SR2M by default. After this, you really just need to buy the B17 mount, which allows you to add a sight and then pick your favorite red dot sight for the build. For my money, I like the Delta Point sight, but there's a lot of good options for around 20,000 rubles. The ammo cost on the SR2M can add up if you end up spraying a lot of shots and not hitting anything, but I still think that you'd be hard pressed to find another SMG with access to decent penetration ammo and a suppressor at this price point. For the final build in this video, I want to take a look at an RFB build that can get you access to a 7.62x51 rifle with a suppressor and a scope for almost exactly 100,000 rubles. This one might be cheating a little bit because depending on flea market prices, it might be more like 110 to 115,000, but ideally it's almost exactly 100,000 rubles if the prices are right. This setup uses a few sneaky barter trades to cut costs and get access to the RFB and a good 7.62 suppressor for a pretty nice price. First up, to get the RFB, you have a few options. You can just straight up buy it on the flea market for about 35 to 40,000 rubles, but there's also a barter trade at skier level 2 which lets you trade two gas analyzers for the RFB. Gas analyzers are sometimes less than 10,000 rubles on the market, so you can get the RFB for like under 20,000 rubles sometimes, especially if you stock up on these. Next, to get a suppressor, you also have two good options on the RFB. My preference is to use the barter trade at mechanic level 2 for the hybrid 46 suppressor, which will cost you 4 sticks of RAM. These are often under 10,000 on the market, so you can get the suppressor for about 40,000 rubles. Alternatively, if you have Peacekeeper level 3 unlocked, you can buy the Gemtech 1 mount, and then buy the Gemtech 1 suppressor on the flea market for about 30,000 rubles. To attach either of these, you're going to need the RFB thread spacer on the barrel as well. Next, for an optic, you can add a red dot sight if you plan on using it mostly at close or medium range, and this also keeps the price down a bit. But to take full advantage of the RFB and its stopping power at range, you can also go on the market and get the Swamp Fox Trihawk Prism Scope for usually around 20,000 rubles and sometimes even less. This scope is quite nice for the price, and really the only downside of this thing is it doesn't have a one-times mode for close range. For the final edition, I've added the BCM Gunfighter Grip onto this build, which gets you a small recoil reduction and a nice ergo bonus for only about 5,000 rubles. So in total, if you get the RFB at a good price for the barter of around 30,000 or less, with 40,000 for the suppressor and about 20,000 for the scope, you're looking at just under or almost exactly 100,000 rubles for a total cost on this build, though it could be slightly higher if you get unlucky with the flea market. And that basically covers it for these builds, so I hope they serve you well if you decide to try them out for yourself. I've got some more ideas for cheap builds like these, and I'd like to do another set of sub 100k builds that include some 5.56 options and some more SMGs. 
I also might bump the price up to include builds under 150,000 for the next video, as that would open up a lot of other options. In any case, let me know what you think of the builds down in the comments. Do you think these are good deals for the price? Thanks for checking out the video. I've got a link to my Twitch channel in the description if you want to come check out some of my Tarkov gameplay live. And until next time, stay safe in Tarkov City.